I think there's a way to attack so ideas without yeah. attacking the person. Absolutely. Play you know the ball, mean? not the man. Yeah, because I think we can get to the root of, hey, this is the, and we talked about some of this stuff, and we're sure we'll come back to the red pill stuff, but like, hey, here's the underlying ideology. This is why it's wrong. Let's exp explore that versus like, this is why it's wrong, and you're stupid, and you're, stupid, and you're, you're fat, ugly, and yeah. you're dumb. <laughs> you know? I, I don't like it. Do, do you know something else that's happened as well, which is a shame over the past decade, especially in the U.S., but it, it's happened in my country and others as well, mm -hmm. which is just this overall coarsening of the way people communicate with each yep. other. Yep. And it doesn't help that the so-called leaders, right, politicians, people in positions of power, like you can go on Twitter right now yeah. and you will find grown men in their 60s, 70s, 80s yeah. Yeah. taking shots at each other, calling yep. each other names, yes. like trying to dunk on each other, whatever. Yes. And I'm just like, this is, it didn't You people have always had their disagreements mm -hmm. and stuff. But even if you just look at how politicians communicated a few decades ago, it wasn't like calling each other names and taking shots and this and that, you know what I mean? It was, it could get spicy, but... It's, it's become very juvenile. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that we're living in this bizarre time where we're, <laughs> we're, we're sort of adults are behaving like children. Yep. And then also on the flip side, you are trying to treat, you're treating adults like children whilst treating children like adults in certain cases. That's heavy. You're right? In, yeah. in, in many ways. And I'm kind of like, and the thing is that gives a green light to people. So mm -hmm. this was actually one of my biggest criticisms of, uh, of, of Trump, mm -hmm. right? Is that. I know how hard the media went against him, and yeah. he at least initially had to go kind of hard against them as well to to do what he did. But careful, the way careful, they, careful, Zuby. Oh, dude, no, I'm all, I'm all good, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, yo, I love it. Yeah, I love it when conservatives can be critical of the goofy stuff within conservative circles. And you do that, and I just like, oh, come on, <laughs> give me more, because I feel like I'm the only one here. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm the only one that like. I'm I'm substantially more overtly conservative than I am when we first met. Yeah. But I'm also just as equally as critical. Yeah. And it's like, how dare you say something no. about Matt Walsh? No. He's the, that, that that is the uh, don't don't touch our our, our anointed. It's, yeah. it's it's very religious. But go ahead, yeah, go, no, go ahead. No, I, I get it. Go um, ahead and cook. I'm gonna let you cook. Yeah, no, go no, ahead. no problem at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I've said like I'm British, but if I were American, I would have voted for Trump 2016 and 2020. No hesitation. Um, but the but the public persona. The, the the tweets the behavior the mm -hmm. way he's talking about other people at all it it like i said it's that it's that coarsening and that lack of oh, what's the right what's the right word it's evading me right now right just the the immaturity mm -hmm. of some of the conversation mm -hmm. and the unnecessary insults yep. and you know things like that like yep. it, it can go too far yep. and part of the problem is it it creates an environment where that is greenlit yeah right if yeah. the if the top leaders in the country are talking to each other yep. and even talking to the general public Come on. in such a way, Yes. then it gives everyone else the green light to be like, oh, okay, well, it's fine to talk about each other. It's fine to talk about each other that way. I mean, but and, and you know what the sucky part is about what you said, Zuby? And I, 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 I don't like talking about politics often, but like, I'm not a fan of Biden, mm -hmm. which the, when people find out I didn't vote about vote for Trump, they always go, so did you vote for Biden? I go, <laughs> yeah. absolutely not. I didn't vote yeah. for Hillary, didn't vote for Biden. But the the frustrating part is that now is happening in is infighting, mm -hmm. and so you got you got DeSantis, mm -hmm. who I actually think is the better shot at winning and beating Biden and moving the country along. Mm -hmm. Actually, in my opinion, actual progress. Yeah. And now because everything is greenlit, mm -hmm. it's about to be a super messy internal fighting amongst conservatives. And I'm just like, man, I, I, it's just, it's ugly. It's, it is juvenile. Like, it, it, it's it gross. Is. It, it, it can be, it can, and, and that's also why, partly why people find it entertaining. Mm -hmm. Cause uh, I've compared US politics in particular to, I've called it WWE for adults. So right. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> Where it's just like you've got the heels yep. and you've got oh, the yeah. face and oh, yeah. people are cheering and they got their signs literally wearing merch and whatever. And it's like, yeah, you go get him, you go get him. And the whole thing's, it's all a little bit fake and you're kind of in on it, but yeah. some people think it's all real. Slarping. And, yeah. It's slarping. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it gets kind of silly. So there's an entertainment value to it. But at the same time, you're kind of like, this is serious business. Yeah. Like you have got the nuclear codes. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, this is a country of 330 million people, yeah. most powerful, most wealthy nation in the world. Yeah. We probably should have someone at the helm who can control yeah. their emotions and or, control their like, Or know. let them really wrestle. 
Yeah. <laughs> that, that <laughs> no, yeah actually, you know, that I would mean, probably uh, make it better. <laughs> Just let him actually go, go wrestle. All the way. Go all the <laughs> way, man. <laughs> It'd be more entertaining that way. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's you're so right, man. And I, I, uh, I don't know, man. I'm mm. looking at it and I'm looking at DeSantis and I'm like. I mean, there's the progress. Like, yeah. if we want progress, like, he held down Florida. No, the libs are going to hate him. Mm -hmm. But he, to me, he's more electable than Trump. Yeah, I, I, I think so, too. I think so, too. Um, you know, it's... Yeah, I mean, if again... And I'm sure I, I, I can find a bunch option, of stuff I disagree with DeSantis on as well. Of course you can. Well. Look, every, you know what every, I mean? we, we, here's another thing that we, we sometimes forget is that everybody is human, man. Yeah. This is something I think that gets forgotten sometimes, perhaps because we put people on pedestals and there's such a celebrity culture, which even filters down to, uh, you know, Twitter celebrities and YouTube sure. celebrities and whatever, where people have this expectation of yes. you to be not not just perfect, but to be perfectly aligned with them. Come on. Right. So you can have someone who they've watched. They've been following you for two years and they're listening to your songs and they're watching your YouTube videos and this and this. And then you do an interview with someone they don't like, or you have a take that they disagree with, yep. or whatever, and you get the, oh, you know, I used to, you know, I used to, I used to be yes. a fan, and now, you know, I've lost all respect for yes. me. I'm like, dude, if you lost all respect for me, yeah, because I talked to someone you don't like, yep. you didn't respect me. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> you, that's you, a fact. You didn't respect me well, if well, like one little the, thing is. The, you're just another commodity, though. Yeah. You're just a voice that they listen to. And it just fills the time, mm. and then it, that could easily be replaced with someone else that agrees with them more. Yeah. It's not about actually uh, the transfer of information and mm. wisdom and knowledge. It's just literally like you get you it, you scratch my ears and you tell me what I want to hear. Yes. And the moment you break my definition of orthodoxy, yeah. then you're out. And I'm not talking about doctrinal orthodoxy. Mm. I'm talking about uh, cultural positions, political positions, social positions. And I think that's that, that, that's that's real. And do you know Do you know what it is? Is in this online world, especially. If you become, as you become a public figure and you gain more followers, subscribers, whatever it is, yeah. there is a segment of your audience that wants you to be their mouthpiece. Mm, yeah. They don't want you they to live say, vicariously yes, through you. They don't want you to say what you actually Sheesh. believe and think. Yep. They want you to say, hey, he's got a million followers and I've got 37. Yep. So I want him to say what I would say if I had yep. a million followers. Yes. So you get the people who are there for you. But then you also have people who are there because they just want you to repeat 100%. the the lines. They want you to repeat the script, and and people can fall fall victim to that. Like yeah. you you can fall into that trap as a creator, yeah. where you just become the person who is just affirming, to use the term, right? Yeah. You're just saying all the all the things. You know, you're kind of just throwing out the red meat to your followers all the time. And there's a lot of juice in that, and there's a lot of money to that. It's like, cool, I've got these people. Yeah. I'm just going to keep on giving them. You know, if it means if it means being uh you know being dishonest a little, mm -hmm. if it means yep lacking objectivity if it means promoting stuff that i know is not really good or if it means dunking on this person yes. in an unnecessary way or being in you know something you know i'm sure you've had these situations where you can tell someone is just being intentionally uncharitable yeah. and disingenuous right yeah, yeah it's the it's the you know so so what you're saying is right you know you, you say right, something right. and then, oh, it's so, like, it's so, like not what i'm not saying at all it's like no i'm not <laughs> saying you know like they're just trying to misunderstand you and i'm like come on man you know that's not yeah you know i'm like hey you know i enjoy i, I ate a banana this morning uh, so you hate oranges I'm like, <laughs> I'm like come on man like you know you know that's not what i was saying why are you trying to come up with the worst possible interpretation right, right of right. what i said